We're going to show how to connect a calendar from SharePoint, a SharePoint site into your Outlook uh, calendar. So you'll see in your calendars an additional calendar here so we can, we can look at it. So the first thing to do is go to the internet and from the home page of the school district you have to go to the intranet portal. The intranet portal has several different uh, little tools available for um, staff and students both. So if we go to district resources as a staff logged in as yourself as a staff member you can go and click on the calendar that you want to connect. We're going to show how to connect the, the middle school calendar, staff calendar into Outlook. So we've just got into the GMS calendar by clicking on district resources and then GMS calendar on the left side. Now we can see the calendar here. Um, right now nothing's in here. All that's required to do is click on actions and then choose connect to Outlook. And it'll pop up Outlook and you'll get this little connect this SharePoint calendar to Outlook and you'll say yes. And we'll get a little bit of uh, some connections. We'll, um, run and we now have the calendar in here. Um, if you click over here on my calendars you can unclick your calendar and see just the district resources uh, GMS calendar. And in here um, you'll be able to create a new appointment. And so I'll set up this test test. Do a save and close. Oh it's overdue, sorry. Uh, now that's in here and now if we go to our back to the SharePoint site and we refresh the page you can now see that that's actually loaded to the calendar in the portal as well. You can also edit it from here by clicking on it and saying edit item and Make it an all day event and OK. Let's change how it looks on the calendar here. Now, if we go back to here, we'll have to actually go into back to the mail, hit send and receive, and it'll sync up the calendar again. And now this calendar's been changed to an all day event and it also has a description in there. Uh, It'll automatically update every uh, every so often, but if you if you're not seeing the changes, you have to hit the send and receive. So those changes have been made, and we're happy with um, our calendars. You you can also um, overlay a calendar on top of your calendar by clicking this little uh, view and overlay mode on the calendar. So if I do that, that'll overlay my two calendars. So I'll see my calendar and district resources calendar and you see my items in this light blue and the GMS resources calendar in the green. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that and I can go back to the side-by-side -side mode just by clicking back and forth the, the, the two arrows.